Hello, this is Britt Caswell with another example video. In this video, I'm covering example 2 from section 2-4 in the Savas Realized Algebra 1 textbook, or Algebra 2 textbook. In this video, we're looking at adding and subtracting complex numbers. Okay, so in the last video, we talked about uh, what is a complex number, right? It's one that has an I involved for the imaginary component. So we're going to talk about how to, how to do operations with them, so how to add or subtract. In later videos, we're going to multiply and divide, okay? So first, this is asking for a sum, so this is addition. Now when we have these complex numbers, we can add them in the same way that we would do it with uh, polynomials. So we can pretend like these i's are, are just variables and combine like terms. Now another way that I do this is I tend to stack them because I think it looks a little better. So here I'm going to write 4 minus 7i. And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to write it down underneath this. That way my like terms are lined up. So the negative 11 is going to go under the 4 and the 9i is going to go under the minus 7i. So if I add down, 4 minus 11 is negative 7, and negative 7i plus 9i is a positive 2i. And that's my solution. Now many kids are, are able to do this with mental math and just gather your like terms. Okay, Many kids are able to go, oh, there's the negative 7, and then here is the plus 2i. Now the, the issue with that that I encounter comes here when we have a difference. Now remember, a difference is subtracting. So when I go to subtract, I'm going to I'm going to write out my first one on top. But when I go to write this second one, if I'm subtracting, I need to change the signs. So when I go to write this under here, instead of writing just 2, I'm going to call it a negative 2. Instead of minus 5i, I'm going to call it plus 5i. And again, that's because it's a difference and it's subtracting. This will make more sense when I go to do B. So as long as you remember to change both of the signs in the thing that's being subtracted, you can, you can do it the same way as you did with addition. So 6 minus 2 is 4, and 8i plus 5i is 13i. Let's try another one. So they, they tend to write these out uh, sideways like this. I, I have just such a hard time seeing it. So I'm just going to stack mine. So I have negative 4 plus 6i. Now this is addition, so for addition I don't need to change the signs at all. All that I'm going to do is make sure that my like terms are lined up. So I'm going to have negative 2 minus 9i. And then I add them down. So negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6. And 6i minus 9i is negative 3i. Alright, so now part B. I'm going to write my first one down like normal. So I have 3 minus 2i. Now for this second one, Another way to think about it, instead of just flipping the signs down here, is think about this as distribution. So I'm going to distribute the negative across the parentheses, which is why this negative 4 turns into a positive 4, and this positive i turns into a negative i. So when I go to subtract here, I get 7 uh, minus 3i. But there it is. That's how to add and subtract complex numbers. Until next time.